Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Caregiver and Spoonie podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Banderas. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of the podcast. And let's get into today's episode, shall we? Now, on today's episode, I want I want to talk about why it's very important to learn to appreciate how far you have come. And here is why. Let me tell you why that's important. For once, it lets you see your progress. I know like this happened to me. I mean, let, let me put it in, in from my perspective in this situation. <laughs> when I was going to therapy or, or when I was doing something like getting better, learning something or, or whatever, I will never look at my progress. I will never see how far I've come and then I will get frustrated because I will feel like I will never learn or I wasn't doing good enough or I was expecting for somebody else to tell me like you're doing good, which that shouldn't be the case. There, um, and, and here's the reason why. One of the things that Tony Robbins talks about, he says that progress equals happiness. And that I think that that is true. Once I started applying that into my life, like once I, I decided to learn something, like, like uh, for example, I'm reading certain books about like self-development and, and the law of attraction and all these things. And once I started like understanding the words more, I, I was like, you know what? I, I, have far, I have come so far right now that I'm understanding the words that I couldn't understand before. And one of the things that I had to do is to understand the learning. The learning curve can be difficult, but if you keep going and going and going and you keep looking back at your progress, look at back when you, uh, at when you started. If you decided to, let's say, lose weight, that's something that I'm working on right now. That's why I'm giving that example. Like, I look at myself back when I started, like, uh, losing weight. I was like, gosh, I was a little chunky. Now I'm a little skinnier. So I look at that progress and it brings me joy because it tells me, like, you know what? I'm doing something right. I'm doing something that 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 I need to do for myself and, I, and, and, and I'm pro... I'm showing the progress. I can show the progress. That's why people like to take pictures of themselves when they're losing weight and, and I've done it. I'm not gonna post them yet. I'm not there yet. But at one point I might, you know, like and, and I and I want you to understand this that when when you when you're going through something right now, like you're going through depression, you're going through through anxiety, you, you're a spoon and you have to go to the doctors, the doctors don't understand what's going on, or they put you in, in a certain medical regimen that that you might think is not working. Remember, look at the beginning. Look at the beginning of your of your journey or, or, or the beginning of whatever you decide to start doing and and then look at yourself at, at the now and be and say, and ask yourself like how far have I progressed? I, I, I have a, do you see any progress? Like, do I see any progress? How, do I feel better? Do I feel like with more energy? Am I able to do other things that, that I couldn't do before, you know? Like going out to the gym, like it's almost like the gym, literally. Let me put it, let me put it to you this way. Like it's almost like going to the gym. When you go to the gym the first time, you're not going to be able to lift a hundred pounds right away. You start with like 20, 25 or whatever your minimum is, you know? And then you keep increasing it. And that's how you see the progress because you start you start looking at back and it's like you know what a month ago I could only do fifty pounds, now I can do a hundred and fifty. That's a hundred pounds more. So that that's progress right there, and that happens to anybody. You can see the progress when when you go into therapy, physical therapy, um, mental therapy. You can see progress on yourself when you're learning something because you're gonna start understanding it even more. You're gonna you're gonna start understanding it even more. Uh, what about when you cook? You know, like when you're cooking and things like that. You're gonna you're gonna start tasting it better. You probably people are gonna like it even more. Or or even on on whatever you decide to do, you have to see the progress. You have to look back and and see how far you've come in your progress, especially when you're a spoonie. Because once you start looking back at your progress, like for example, my wife. Like I'm gonna give you this example. My wife, when when she became sick, when she got when when she became ill, she couldn't drive. She couldn't literally get out of bed. 
now she can drive she can get out of bed um there are other things going on right now but obviously that that that's uh, completely different to what happened but i can i can still tell her like you know what look at how far you've come from when we started look at how far we come when we lost from when we lost everything because we lost pretty much everything now we have our own place we have we have a sta i have a stable job i'm doing what i love which is this i'm 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 um she's able to literally not work she's literally retired from working and and she doesn't have to worry about anything so we have come a long way and and one of, and one of the things that this this does as well when when you start looking back at your progress is that it helps you realize that it can take time but you can do it because it's like like I will tell you this like before therapy I couldn't really express myself with anybody not even my wife now after therapy I was able to like talk to my wife about like how I grew up you know like bring her more into my life. Like that's pretty much what I did. I was able to do. I was able to tell her, like, you know what? This is how I grew up because I stopped feeling ashamed. So that's progress, right there, at least for me, because I was able to open up for my wife, uh, which means that once I have, a, I'm able to open up to my wife, I'm able to open up to other people, and then I'm able to do the podcast, and the podcast will get better because I'm able to open up better. Like I was able to tell my wife, like how many, how I was beat up by my mom, by my brother, by all of these things that happened. And, and how I grew up, like, literally very poor. Like, where, where I had to realize that I grew up very poor. And, and I look back and I say, like, you know what? From when I grew up in Mexico to what I have now, is like, I have come a long way. Literally. Because maybe I grew up in a, in a way that I didn't think we were poor. But now looking at it from where I'm at right now, I was like, oh, shit. I was poor. Like, I was poor not like dirt poor but I was poor like we had to we had to literally buy what we wanted but eat it like do, we didn't throw away food and now that I live with my wife who is white we buy stuff we don't eat it and we throw it away I even feel bad because I was like holy crap that's I would have never been able to do that like I would just eat it you know like and and that's that's another thing like sometimes you're gonna have to look back at uh the way that you grew up and what you're doing right now if you decide to change something in your life you're gonna have to look at that particular area that you want that you change in your life and, and be like you know what i used to be angrier all the time now i'm happier that's progress and and you can actually ask yourself the question like okay what what changes did i do that actually help me get better and then you're gonna find the answer and one of the things that that this is going to do when you start looking at your progress is that it's going to build confidence. And when it starts building confidence, when you start building this confidence, what's going to do is that it's actually gonna push you to do more. Because now you know you can do it. You've done so much right now, like I've done so much right now, I know I can do whatever, whatever I want. Like I have goals that I'm going to achieve and I have talked about them before and I'm gonna, I'm gonna achieve them because it's like, you know what? From when I was growing up, an abused kid, a kid that felt like nobody loved him or that wasn't going to be able to do anything in life and to what, where I'm at right now and what I'm able to achieve, I'm like, you know what? I can do it. I'm not that same person that started from the bottom. I'm, let's say, like in the middle and I'm going to the top. And you can do the same thing, like I said, if it's in regards to your health, to your money, to your business, to your to your family life, to whatever. You can do the same thing. You, you just need to realize how far you've come in whatever you need to change. And it, it, it and sometimes we don't wanna look at the small things. We want to look at the at the big things. We want something somebody to tell us, oh you're doing great. But the first person that needs to realize what you're doing, it's you. Because you're doing it for you or you're doing it for somebody else. Like your why, the reason why you're doing it. And if you're able to understand that you have come so far either because of your why or because of what you want to do for yourself, then be proud of it. That's going to give you confidence that you're going to be able to keep going. You're going to become unstoppable. To be honest, you're going to become unstoppable. You're going to keep going. Nobody's going to stop you. You can be a, a spoonie right now that, that has fibromyalgia or, or that has uh, 
whatever kind of disease that you're facing right now but if you look at the progress that you have that you have right now from from when you started feeling sick let's say like your 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 treatment is helping you be proud of it be proud of it and say like you know what i can do this i can keep going i i'm not gonna stop until i get better I'm not going to stop until I, until I reach a specific goal. But you also have to put a specific goal. That way you can actually know what you need to progress towards. And when you look back and when you get closer to that goal, you can actually look back and say, you know what? Look at where I started and look at me now. That's pretty much what, what why it's very important to learn to love to see how far you've come. And like I was saying, you sometimes you don't wanna, you don't, you don't see the small things, which is, is it, that was hard for me because I was when I was going to therapy and changing everything that I had to change with myself within myself, like you know, like my anger issues, my the way that I speak towards people or with people, um, I noticed that. I was able to change that and once I was I was able to change that I, I looked back sometimes when I'm when when things happen when I would get mad I would look back and say like you know what this will put me over the edge before now I I, I can react to towards that situation in a different way that doesn't even make me stress so I'm like you know what I'm proud of that I'm proud of that and also and and, and one last thing that I want to mention here in regards to this is that once you're able to see your own progress it helps you understand that your journey is better than the destination at least that's how I uh, how I see it from my perspective is like uh, this journey that I'm on right now or that you might be on right now as well is it is not about the destination it's about the journey and what you learn in that journey to get you to the destination that's what you had to to understand to to love the progress that you that you have achieved. It can be it can be like I said like I've said before, one percent or two percent or a hundred percent progress. It's still it's it's progress. You know, like if if you if you like uh, if you're like me, I like to let's say like check in with myself every 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 week every weekend. I look back at during the weekend and I will I always tell myself or I always ask myself, what did I improve on this week? And then I make a list. And I was like, you know what? This is pretty good. So you can do something like that. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Remember, you're a spoonie, you go or you're a caregiver, or you're going through something. Everybody's gonna go through something, especially with, with everything that's going on right now. There's a lot of stress going on around because of, of current events. So look at your progress because that's what's gonna help you get rid of some of your stress. Because you might you might try to learn something new to improve your life, but with everything that's going on right now, you might feel stressed about. It. You might be like, I don't have time, I don't have this, I don't have I don't have the knowledge, I, I don't think I can do it. But if you look back after you started and you understand that you have done some kind of progress, no matter how small it is, then you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna be like, you know what, I can keep going. But that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. Thank you for your time. Thank you for, for your feedback. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the new uh, subscribers, the new uh, listeners. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for everything that you guys do. Um, and we're making the, the community grow. So don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. You can And you can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And also, um, if you want to share your story, don't forget to share it at thecaregiverandspoonie at gmail.com. You can post it on Facebook as well. Uh, you can send it to me anonymously at the email. And I leave you like always as always take care of yourself